Okay, where's Vivi? Vivi, where are you at? Are you a shop? Yes. You are useless to me. Is this the end here? I think it is. Hi, guys. Oh, hi, Vivi. Vivi, what's wrong? Huh? Oh, Sidhan. It, it's nothing. Did somebody- did something bad happen? All the black mages seem pretty nice. Nothing happened! Girl, I hungry. Oh boy. This village people eat terrible food. Oh, Vivi, you're back. Where were you? You look very- You got tired, right, Vivi? Y yeah I don't blame you. Been walking around non-stop. You should call it a day. I go to forest and look for food. What about you, Sidon? Sure, let's go to bed. Cause that's going to end well. Nothing in this game will ever end well. I hope Vivi's not in Kingdom Hearts 3. Then again, I'm the person who doesn't like Kingdom Hearts very much. <laughs> Mostly because all the final times they brought my favorite characters from Final Fantasy into it has never ended well. <clears throat> Sidon, Vivi just walked out. Maybe he's letting us have a little romantic quiet time. I'm serious. So am I. <laughs> But he's trying to figure something out for himself. Oh. Think about it. Vivi's never met black majors like himself before. But what are they being mean to him or saying nasty things? Do you really think the people of this village gathered to do something like that? Yeah, Garnett just got owned. Maybe, just maybe, he'll find what he's looking for. Find what? A place to call home. Home? Yeah. A place where he belongs. Oh, now it's time. Darn it, just get on top of Zidane already. Damn it, chat! Here's Zidane, when you said home. What's the matter? Can't fall asleep? How about a bedtime story? Let's see. Once upon a time, there was a girl who wouldn't get in my bed. There you go again, teasing me. Once upon a time, there was a man. There was a man who didn't know where he came from. Sidon? This man had longed to find his birthplace ever since he was a small child. His birthplace? A place he only remembered in his dreams. Why? He wanted to know more about himself, maybe. Or about his parents, the house where he was born. One day, the man left the home of his adoptive father and went on a quest to find the answer. His only clue was the blue light he saw in his dreams. A blue light? Yeah, he thought it might be a memory of his birthplace. An ocean, maybe? Did he find it? Hey, you're jumping ahead! A lot of things happen along the way. Alright, we can skip ahead. No, he never found it. How could he? His only clue was a colored light. So he went back to the home of his adoptive father. What do you think his father did when he came home? Welcome to my home? No way! The father raised his fist and beat the son he worked so hard to raise. <laughs> God damn it! Final Fantasy! So many feels. Why? I don't know. But you know what surprised me even more? The father smiled after beating up his son. Can you believe that? He just gave his son a beating. But what that... But this is what the man thought when he saw his father smile. This is my home. This is the place I call home. The man is still looking for his birthplace. But he already has a home. Maybe... It's the same for Vivi. He's looking for a place to call home. I wonder if Vivi will stay in this village. Who knows? That's for him to decide. Oh, <laughs> Feels. So many feels. Hello, it is nice to see you again. I, um, I wanted to ask you something. What is it? I, I was wondering how many people have stopped moving. You're very kind to use our words. But you already know what it means to live and to die. You're asking about our friends who have died, not stopped. Um. 
seven of our friends stopped functioning recently. I think our lifespan is limited. I suspected this ever since the first one came to a stop. It varies a little, but most of us stop moving one year after production. N no Well, Vivi's seven years old, so... I hadn't told anyone else about this. If I did, they'd feel the same way I do. What do you feel? I don't know. Fear? I don't want to stop. Maybe I want to run away from it all. But living in this village with everyone fills me with joy. The joy of living with them far outweighs the fear of death. Isn't it the same for you? Traveling with your friends gives your life meaning. I... Phoebe's having an existential crisis! Really? Yeah, I think that's what you're looking for. Thank you. What's up, Dagger? Sudan, someone saw a silver dragon on the northwest part of this continent. The people of Condé Petier said there's a place called Sanctuary, where the entrance is restricted. I think this coup just said something about a secret being hidden in the continent. You heard him say that? Yeah, something about the source of the mist. Maybe we can find out more if we go there. And maybe save my mother. <laughs> oh, Garnet, you poor, naive, stupid girl. With me, Vivi? Everyone in the village asked me to see the outside world and tell them about it. I see. Oh man, I thought Dagger and I get to spend some quality time together. What you say? And Kina ruins everything. You no can leave here. Me here, I starve. Oh yeah, forgot about you. Let's go, everyone. To Condé Petier, to the sanctuary that lies beyond. Yay! Um, let's arrange stuff. How many... Well, I've got 99 wrists and I've got 99 steeple hats, so you just have to get to a uh, synthesis shop. <laughs> okay. Now let's go all the way back to Condé Petier. And hope that nobody dies horrendously in a random battle along the way. Like this one right now. Of course, Zidane only wants some happy time with Dagger. He's not allowed to have happy time with Dagger. But he can stab this guy in the butt. Eat I know I can go to Q's Mars for frog catching, but that takes effort. <laughs> I'll do some frog catching later. Actually, I think I might have already done the frog catch. Yeah, I think I already did the frog catching here. Then again, it's been a little while since I've recorded, so I've gone to random fight already. Didn't we just do this? Apparently not. Eat it. Ow. Good thing I'm too strong. Keep attacking. Is he dead yet? No. That tastes bad. Oh, poor Kina. Kina's not allowed to have nice things. Or food. Kina should come over to my place. I'm a pretty good cook. I can make up something nice. Dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun -dun. What? Uh. So 
many fights at once. Why? It's like three fights in the space of five steps. Okay, pull out the guns, everybody attack. Screw this guy, he's dead. Goodbye! We're headed. Hario! It can taste bad because it's a huge chicken, because maybe Kina's secretly a vegetarian. But he wouldn't be a vegetarian because he's already eaten a bunch of things. I don't, I don't know. Because XP and AP, okay. I'm getting into so four random fights because of XP and AP. I will accept that explanation. But I'm so I'm so much more powerful than these guys that I can take them all out with a couple hits. Grilled cheese with bacon. Take away the bacon and I'll eat it. I have never had to really grind in this game. I frequently play this game without grinding at all. So the sanctuary is on the other side of that valley. But the exit leading there from the upper floor is guarded by a dwarf who won't let us through. The t twin dwarves block way out from shop on the right side. No can get through. Hmm. We'll just have to try and go as far as you can. This isn't going to end well. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 Can I give you something? No. That doesn't help. Rallo! Rallo! Say, I want to get through here. Never. Only those, only those who have received the ceremony can pass. What the heck is that ceremony? Speak to his holiness. And where is his holiness? I dinner can raise. Okay. You, Rallyo, you have been need a good weapon for the road, you, will you not? Oh god, my terrible accent has returned. Oh, here's the stuff that I need. Okay. Um, mine. Ah, my So we got here. Okay, you've got everything on that, so let's give you the Mutina racket. And I think it was you who can get this. Yes. Awesome possum. His Holiness, I need to talk to you. Oh, you're Kelly. Never mind. I don't care about you. Where is His Holiness? I need to find the Holy Bastard! Where is the Holy Bastard? Oh, there he is. As I go into the wrong room. Hello. Are you His Holiness? Hey, mister, are you the Holy Guy? I am a Father David. What are you doing here around this hallway? Well, there really isn't much to worry about, you see. Yeah, whatever. Look, we gotta get past this village. Hmm. Tradition states that only those who undergo the ceremony can approach the sanctuary. So what the heck is the ceremony about, anyway? Well, after a man and a woman are blessed in all the union, they leave on a holy pilgrimage to the sanctuary. So basically, it's a wedding and a honeymoon, right? I didn't kin your words, lad, but I think you understand. So we can go to the sanctuary if you undergo that ceremony, right? Oh yeah, dagger. So yeah, that's the deal. What do you think? If we can get hitched, there's no way we'd actually. Let's do it. <laughs> As the dawn has starts getting cold feet. What? Say so, I never joined. Eh? The ceremony's only for dwarves, see? Eh? Boy, how so few young folk know those. We're done it. We're done it to ninety-nine couples. I was worrying about the very thin. Well, I can the arm. Now we can have our thunder ceremony. 
You know, but none of you guys are going to be able to understand my gibberish when I try and beat these guys. <laughs> uh, Dagger, what's going on? Oh boy. 